Launching a startup is a long journey with many difficulties. But it gets easier with a friend. My CTO friend. Hi, and welcome to the CTO Tips. Today, we're going to talk about how to create a source code repository so that as a startup founder, you can delegate or you can give access to one place where your developers are going to put this source code. And you will always own your own application. This is your responsibility to be sure that you always have control of what has been done and what is going to be done on your software. So as you don't know if you're going to have 10 or millions of users, the real value is in the entire product, not only the outside of the product or the design, but it's also the engine of your product. And this is exactly what the source code is. So without further ado, let's get directly to Bitbucket, which is the tool I recommend you to use if you just start your startup and you want to create this place where you're going to keep control of your development. So uh, I will invite you to get to bitbucket.com and let's review this website. First of all, uh, we're going to create an account on Bitbucket so that we are able to delegate the access to uh, the uh, source code. So let's do it. So here it is, I just subscribed, I of course received an email and when I click on the link on the email, I should be redirected to this page where he's going to invite me to, um, to sign of course. Now I'm going to choose a username for my Bitbucket account. So let's set my CTO friend. Here we are. So now we are on Bitbucket and we are about to create a team, which is a requirement to start a project. So let's start the, pro the team, my CTO friend team. Here we go. And I'm going to be the only member for now, but here you can invite as much developer as you want. You just need to put their email address, hopefully the one they use to, uh, for their Bitbucket account. And so they will have access to the um, allowed uh, account. Let's, let's, let me add myself as another developer. I have another account. Okay, so now I just add my personal account here as a simple user, but I should be able to delegate more in the future and give also administrator access. What is important is to keep in mind that uh, the user that is here uh, is a member of the team and he will not have the ownership of the team and of the, uh, the project. So let's create the team. Okay, so for now, we don't have any code, of course. Um, it's going to be to your developer to create the uh, project. So let's create it to create the, the source code. But first, let's create a project. So we get in the project and we create my CTO friend test project. Let's say it, uh, MF, my CTO, 
frame project. It's a private project, which means that the source code will not be available and uh, accessible for everyone, but only people that are part of your team. You can put your logo if you want, and you put the project. It's not very important, in fact. Here it is. So now we can create a repository, which means that we're going to be able to deploy uh, the um, we to deploy some source code. So the repository could be, as example, um, main website. It can be created by your uh, by your developer as well. Create repository. And in this repository now, if your developer is me is a member of your source code, he will be able of your team. Sorry, he will be able to publish the source code on it and you will have access to it and at any time you will be able to access on this part this menu but the commit menu which means that you will see here all the uh, deployment and all the change that has been done by your developer so this is all you need to do to set up a bitbucket account and then give access to your developer to your own repository so that you can own the content of your application. Now, if you already have your team, then project, then repository setup, and you want to add a new developer to your team, it's quite easy. You need to get to your project, like I am in right now, and you click on the settings, then you go on user and group access, and you will have here, and you will be able to give access directly to a user. If you want, you can add here the email of the user. Or you can also manage by groups. And if, as example, I want to manage a developer's group, I can here add a new member on this group. Which can, can be the same if you want to create a test group, which will have only a read access. It will be exactly the same. So keep that in mind, own what you pay for. If you are using a, a repository or if you want to develop an application, you do need to have your own repository and to be the owner of it. It should not be your developer. Some developers want to use their own repos Git repository account or even their own server. It's not the best practice that you go f should go for. You also have other systems like GitHub, but you might have several other services on the web that can do the same. Bitbucket is the simplest one and quite well known. Uh, you do need to invite developers and keep your own access secret. Never share your password. Uh, your own developer will have their own password. That's what you need to keep in mind before to start a development uh, and, and, and your startup. I hope it was helpful and uh, any any time you can ask me your question on the comment section below or uh, and you can check the other video on mycityofriend.co. See you there. Bye for now.